The Mindset Shift presents Audiobook Summary, A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare Hippolyta and Theseus are preparing their weeding when Aegeus arrives with his daughter Hermia to ask the duke to order Hermia to marry Demetrius. Theseus did that and gave her a maximum of a month to complete the order. If she does not do it, she will go to a monastery or make peace with the fact that she will die. Hermia cannot cope with their decision that she has to get into a loveless marriage because she is in love with Lysander. The two of them were planning to escape after they meet him in the forest. Hermia said everything to her friend Helen, which was in love with Demetrius, and she told him everything. Angry and disappointed Demetrius goes looking for the lovers and Helen accompanies him. In the meantime, a group of Athens artisans are getting prepared for a play that they will do on Theseus' wedding. Everything is directed by Peter, a carpenter. The whole play will be rehearsed in the woods, and the theme will be Pyramus and this be. Meanwhile, Puck, Oberon's joker, speaks with Titania's fairies, and they talk about the fight between Titania and Oberon. The fight was about Titania not giving Oberon the boy she is raising. Oberon was angry and ordered Puck to search for a flower that he will drain into Titania's eyes when she falls asleep. After Titania wakes up, she will fall madly in love with the first man she sees. After he saw that Demetrius will never fall in love with Helen, he also ordered the Joker to do the same to him. That way, Demetrius will fall in love with her. But everything got complicated. Puck placed the drops into the eyes of Lysander. He woke up, saw Helen, and fell in love. He went after her and left Hermia alone. The next scene brought some more complications, and it is about the rehearsal of the play that was a little bit distant from the place where Titania slept. Puck is the one to blame in this situation, because he was the one that interfered with the rehearsal. He managed to scare everyone when he put a donkey's head on one of the actors called Bottom, because he thought that Bottom was an awful player. Everyone ran away in fear. Titania had woken up, and the first man she saw was Bottom. She fell madly in love with him, and ordered everyone to serve him. Hermia went searching for Lysander, and she thought that angry Demetrius killed him. On the other side, Oberon is angry at Puck, who has done everything wrong. He ordered him to bring Helen and put the drops of the flower into her eyes. Helen arrives, and Lysander is still following her and declaring her his love. Demetrius woke up and also fell in love with her and asked her to be his. Hermia came along and fought with Lysander. She thought that everyone was making fun of her. A fight broke out between Lysander and Demetrius. The Joker tricked them by imitating their voices and led them into the woods, where they fell asleep. Then he took the cure against the magical flower and put it into Lysandra's eyes in order for him to regain his great love for Hermia. Also, Oberon did the same to Titania because he gave the boy she was raising. The Joker took the donkey's head from Bottom's neck. Hippolyta and Theseus went hunting with Aegeus and found the sleeping lovers in the woods. Theseus listened to him and decided that everyone in Athena should marry the one they love, even though Aegeus is against that. Bottom, who does not have a donkey head, any more went back to his friends to practice together for the play. After the wedding, Theseus picked the play about Pyramus and Thisbe to be performed in front of everyone. After that, everyone left and Titani and Oberon shared their blessings through dancing and singing. At the end of the play, Puck said goodbye to everyone. Thank you for joining me on this audio journey through A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. This play is a whimsical and romantic comedy that explores the power of love and the magic of the imagination. Through the intertwining stories of four young lovers and a group of mischievous fairies, Shakespeare creates a dreamlike world of enchantment and transformation. As always, on the mindset shift, we believe that exploring new perspectives and opening our minds can lead to personal growth and transformation. So, if you haven't already, 
I highly recommend reading A Midsummer Night's Dream and immersing yourself in the playful and imaginative world that Shakespeare has created. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Mindset Shift for more audiobook summaries and other insightful content that can help you shift your mindset and improve your life. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.